All right, so I've been fiddling with this thing for several hours now. Uh, I got about an hour right now to work on it. Got almost all the bolts off of the intake and exhaust manifolds, except for two in the back. Uh, other than this corner one, but I'm not worried about that corner one. I can get that once I get the intake manifold off. But there's two bolts back there that are very hard to get. I've looked at video after video, and it seems like everybody uh, skips over that part. They talk about like what tools they used, uh, but they didn't uh, show in the video how much of a pain in the ass it is to get those two bolts. Now in Project Alpha, uh, it had the square um, intake manifold. It, this, the, these newer ones that are more like better airflow, uh, little, little beefier and thicker, I think. Um, so it makes it a little harder to get up underneath there to get those two back bolts here. But first thing is getting these two bolts in the back off. So I'll go ahead and let the video run. So you guys can watch me struggle trying to get it. And if you guys got any tips or hints, please make a comment because it might help somebody else along the way. But it is a pain in the butt. Pain in the butt. But we'll continue on. We'll get it eventually.
managed to get those last two bolts. I got the stud uh, or the nut off the stud in the corner, which was easy after you got the, uh, the intake manifold taken off. But something I didn't expect to happen is that this exhaust pipe or exhaust manifold is stuck on the stud. Uh, it will not, like, I don't know, I, I put PB blaster on it. Maybe we'll just let it soak for a little bit um, and see if we can't just loosen it up a little bit. Didn't and think of that. I was, you know, I was thinking, you know, these bolts get stuck in the block or in the uh, head and you know but and it's loose so I can pull up on it and the screw moves so it's loose in the block it's just not you know just not coming off the exhaust uh, exhaust manifold so crazy crazy but it is what it is I guess but anyways yeah I don't know kind of frustrating I'll just let it soak in PB blaster and and maybe try it again tomorrow and uh yeah or whenever i have time to work on this again but i got the the back exhaust pipe off now i got the front one off um thankfully they separated the two because in the older ones it was one piece and it tended to crack so, so no longer an issue on this, but I don't know, just trying not to, I wonder if I can break that bolt off, or that stud. I did break the tip off, I, I didn't expect that, so it's in the exhaust manifold tight, so in other words it got rust all in it. So, no bueno. But, yeah. So, we'll let that soak. And I'll try to work it out. And then, the next step will be to remove, start removing stuff on this side of the engine. And it's just easier to get the engine out of here with the head off of it. But, you know, I'm trying to think how I put it in. I'm going to have to look at the videos. Maybe that's what I'll do before I have to go to work. Look at the Project Alpha videos. Or actually, it wasn't the Project Alpha. It was the 4.0 st Stroker series I did. Um, which I could never get it quite running right and I'm, I don't know if the timing was off and then anyways I'm getting off on a tangent what are you doing over there I didn't even know you were in there you're the one laying eggs in there but anyways just that stud and then uh, we'll get the oil pack off of it Still not sure what this is doing. Somebody installed it. So we'll, we'll see what function it has. I'm not quite sure why they did it. Or was it to keep the coil pack down? It might have been to keep the coil pack down. Oh, you know what? It was. The coil pack's missing its bolts. Well, that figures. All right, we'll fix that. But anyways, unless they broke the bolts in the head, we'll find that out when we get it all apart. But that's why they put it on there, 
it's kind of to brace this in the place see how loose it is it shouldn't be that loose on the engine but anyways this hen keeps laying an egg in my jeep over here it's making a lot of noise but thanks for watching hit like subscribe and then look forward to the next step of trying to remove this engine